hello guys you're welcome to my channel so guys each time i listen to peter ob speech you know i become so happy i i do ask myself if we have somebody like this all this why why was he not the one elected you know during this buhari's regime come i don't know if you've come across peter ob speech where where he was like taking an oath that if he ever tampers with the people's money with government money that god will punish him and punish his children Tell me if there is any other Nigerian politician who can boldly say this. Can we hear this from Atiku? Can we hear this from Tinubu? They can't because their mission is to come and grab the ones they couldn't grab when they were in power. So guys, I don't know. Peter Obi is a national president. This is somebody that just has this burden to come and rescue Nigeria. He just has this heartbeat, you know, this burden, this drive just to salvage Nigeria and to salvage Nigeria for the present youth and for our unborn children. This is just what this Peter will be trying to do, nothing else. So I want to encourage you people, no matter the part of the country you come from, this man has just devoted himself to help rebuild Nigeria. Sometimes when I try to imagine how this Nigeria is going to be when Peter Obi takes over power, I try to visualize it uh, to be like Dubai. That is just my dream, you know, Dubai that was known to be nothing, to be a country that you can you can reckon them for anything. But today, Dubai is a place that everybody wants to visit you know the americans no matter you, you where you are coming from you want to visit dubai because of the kind of the kind of leadership that has helped them you know develop to the level they are today and they keep developing peter obi just has this burden to save nigeria so i want to encourage you the little time you are sacrificing will not be in vain no matter the part of the country you come from this man has just devoted himself to help rebuild nine talk to your family members talk to anybody around you in your place of business talk to people convince them about the mission and the vision of peter obi let's all come together let's support peter obi let's give him that real support that he needs to become our next president and you so at this point i will stop here and i want you to watch and listen to what peter obi said that if i take public money that i'm not entitled to God should punish them, my child. Not because of anything, but God gave me enough. Wow. So, more than my fair, more than my fair share. More than my fair share. And I said to that anything. I told somebody there by the one swore, and I said, why do I steal public money? This is the president of America that just declared that it's worth 8.9 million dollars. So why should be somebody for me being in third world country when I'm richer than that still for me? So you guys is that I don't know what else. I'm not looking for private jet, I'm not looking for sophisticated house, I'm not gonna buy a house in America because I don't live in America. <laughs> I'm happy to come here and see good people who live here. And you come to America, you know, as government people who say, buy a house, buy I say, why should I? I don't live here. I will never live here. So if I come to live here, yes. But I live in Onitsha, so I have a house in Onitsha. <laughs> <laughs> right. Professor Pat told me, Professor Pat told me, I have told you what we are doing. What we are doing is not about a normal politics. No.